Hi, uh, this is uh, going to be a video about this product, the GS911, exclusively just for the GS's and there's a few other BMWs that uh, Hex make this product for, and I'll show you that all on their website. But I've had this for a little while now, for a couple of years, and I've used it loads of times, excellent piece of kit. You can put it on your mobile phone as well. So you can do it if you're out. Um, well, let's go. Now when you unbox it, you see, mine's the old version, the yellow one. They do another one now, which is Wi-Fi and whoa, absolutely everything. Um, they update all the software every now and again. That's pretty much that. And that. And you've got a lead that plugs in the back there. This one you can do Bluetooth to your phone or your laptop if you've got Bluetooth on it. And some some stuff on there. Yeah. Um, the instructions are in there. And you do that quick guide and it tells you how to set it all up. I will show you that on the website. You get a lead with it as well. A nifty little box. And you'll find that under the seat there. I'll show you soon. It is the connector that you connect it all up with. And I'll show you all the stuff that it can pretty much do. And yeah, basically it. This is the website. And you get all your downloads from here. When you log on with your GS911, um, it will take you to this first and you'll have to register it and whatever but there's loads and loads of help on here let's just see if I can get a bit more of it up you can see that that's my obviously that one there is mine the Bluetooth one and you can get all the downloads for that download your stuff for your phone and the PC the PC has got a lot more stuff on it so you can do a lot more with it the um, phone not so much it's just to basically help you out these are the new ones the uh, these have all got Wi-Fi I believe you've got all the downloads and stuff there it does iOS and Bluetooth Blackberry you name it um, you can get them now I, um, it says there I on some places you have to charge for the app. Um, it's all the brochures to learn how to use it. It's quite easy to download everything though. It's, um, if I can do it, anyone can do it basically. I think that's all. If you look in the top, let's go back to, to the side there. There's updates on this bit. Shows you what, you know, software updates and things like that they do them once you plug it in you'll see that um, some other bits they've got yeah the top there you've got home support manuals products policies resellers they do them in almost countries as I see there and you'll see there you've got lots of different countries where you can buy them. I got mine from South Africa, but I had to pay an import tax on mine. It's a while ago I got mine. As I say, it's a brilliant piece of kit. Right, I'm going to take this outside and put it on my on my bike and run through a few of the things with you. So when you take your seat off, keep in mind with the seat off you get this device, this little connection here. And you have to take the cap off this cap, connect your GS into that, which I'll show in a minute. And computer will go on to that. And you'll see listed down the side there, all the bikes. On mine you can do up to 10 frame numbers. 10 VIN numbers and um, there are ones you can do endless amounts of bikes on but mine does 10 
I've only ever used it on my own bow. Right, this is the cap. We'll take the cap off. Don't lose it. I always put mine on my battery. Then you've got this. You've got on here like a little arrow. So if you line that arrow up with that arrow and then spin that, it locks it all in place, arrow to arrow again. The light come on, so it's in there. Then they give you quite a long lead, so you can put your computer by your bike if you want to spin it over to the computers over there. And you've got this lead, USB lead. Yeah, that plugs into the computer. And this, just a standard, more connects a USB type, connects it into the GS. Yeah, like so. And then plug it into the computer, into your laptop, if I can find the hole. There we go. And it should register like it just clicked. And you've got to find your bike. So, honey, if you want to put it there. And obviously, my bike is a 1200 GS 2009. So that's where this one goes. Um, it says oh, there's a new version. I'm not going to install it at the moment because I'm just showing you. And it's telling me that I need to switch on the ignition. So I will do that. Turn on. Click OK. And it will run through. It will tell you um, all all the things you can do. Did you want to zoom in on that a little bit so they can see that? See all those things: engine, anti-lock braking, instrument cluster, vehicle electronics, theft alarm if you've got one, pressure mon uh, monitor for your tyres, and there's some special functions and coding. So there's probably more on the new version now that needs to be downloaded, but I haven't used this one on my one for a little while. So let's have a look. The first one we go to is the EC is is the engine function. It's got ECU, it's got fault codes, clear the fault codes, and you can do real-time values where you can run your bike and it can tell you what's going actually happening on your bike at that point. You need to You need to um, keep it in a service function so you can like change service times and things like that. So ECU info comes up and tells you all about your bike, all the part types, factories, uh, odometer readings, the VIN number, the model, year and all that. So you can find it all on there. You can print everything off as well. I'm going to do a read fault code, so I've probably come up with a couple because I've not done it for a while. Um, right, that's because I took the instrument cluster off to repair something, so I've got that on there. Um, and it says the fault is not present now, the problem occurred once, and I can actually um, clear that. So it will go. So that's cleared. Read that fault code. Clear fault code. Am I sure I want to reset it? Yes. So that gets rid of the fault code on my bike now. And there you go. No fault code found on that side. And we'll go back. And we've got the anti lock braking system. And obviously you can run through all the same sort of thing, output tests, ABS, bleed tests, everything pretty much. I won't go into all them because they're quite um, advanced. Instrument cluster, you can do output tests on this, like you can do like um, warning lamps, red warning lamps, and just test all the lights and everything, all everything pretty much on this one. Um, the cluster test this just does everything then you've got vehicle electronics same again do the, you can do your ESA calibration you can do your fuel strip calibration anything on the electrical side you know read fault codes and everything like that then you've got 
anti theft alarm I haven't got that tire pressure monitors if you replace them you can um, do them. they can check them special functions I find quite useful because you can reset all your service reminders and your motorcycle dates you can even change km uh, kilometers to miles things silly things like that that are really helpful you know depending on what country you're in um, coding and it, like it says, it functionally allows you to change the instrument cluster coding, so you can change it from KMH to MPH and all that. And temperature display can be Celsius and moles per gallon and PSI. Everything can be changed. Right, so I'm going to do an auto scan now. This, this is just one thing I always use, and it scans everything on there for sports. Now, let's see what happens. It might come up with some. I won't be surprised. It doesn't affect the bike because um, unless it's something really bad, but then I would have my phone on Bluetooth and have it on the Bluetooth when I could clear it when I was out. I, I think it depends on the amount of um, uh, how fast dropping is. So it gives you a report of everything about your bike now. So auto scan report who it's registered to, uh, motorcycle information, service dates and things, no faults found, um, there's a few on there that can be done because I've had things turn off, I've replaced bulbs and things and the battery's not, and it's not been run for a while so the battery's probably a bit low so it's telling me that. Um, there's a few codes on there because I've not used it, like I said, but I can clear them all. And it's because I've worked on my bikes, I've taken bits and pieces off, taken battery off, things like that. So I've had a few come up. But if I went to BMW to get it sorted, it would probably cost me a lot of money <coughs> to actually um, have them all cleared. And it says all fault, all fault codes cleared now. So, okay. Um, what you do have to do is cycle the ignition and that means just to turn it off wait 10 seconds or so and turn it back on that recycles ignitions that sets every resets everything so whatever you've put in there it will set it will reset on your bike that's pretty much it really um, they are expensive but they're not they really pay for themselves and it's quite fun to actually be there and just muck about with things and change things. Um, there are, there's loads of um, sites to help you. So, yeah, it's a proper good piece of kit. If there's anything else you need help with, um, just write in the comments underneath. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe because I'll try and do some more BMW stuffs. So, yeah, we'll catch you later. Cheers for that.